Hey, what's up guys? I just spent about 11 minutes, 27 seconds roughly, of my life watching Tony, Fabio Crow 07770, open a can with a spoon. And I'm glad, I'm glad I did because he's very entertaining. I've been subscribed to him since the beginning <laughs> and I love his videos. Sometimes they're stupid, I still love those. I watch every single thing he puts out, I do. But anyway, I watched uh, watched this video. It's basically a remake video because he made a video saying he was going to open a can with a spoon and ha ah, ha ha ha, there was a little pop top thing on it. So he just used the spoon to lift that and uh, everyone got a chuckle out of it or not because I apparently you're not allowed to have a sense of humor on YouTube anymore. So a lot of people gave him crap for it. So he had to do a redo video where he basically just beat the crap out of the spoon. Yeah, the spoon. He beat the crap out of the can with the spoon opening it. Now, if you have a thin tapered spoon, which this is not, it's thick, which is probably the same as what he had, but if you have a thinner taper on your spoon, you can manhandle it and stab it into the corner, pierce through the lid, and then just kind of turn it, and then you can't open a can like that. Um, I've seen it done. I've never personally tried it, nor would I want to try it. I usually use a can opener. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, not all cans are created equal. Some are thicker than others. All right, it's just how how it happens to be. Um, but yeah, there's many different ways you could open a can. Obviously, can openers could be the most effective way. I've shown can opening on my channel before. I showed how to open a can with a P51, uh, a P38. I've shown how to use the can opener on a Swiss Army knife. And I've opened a can of tuna with a knife, Spyderco Bug. Or no, 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 I think it was the Spyderco Ladybug. It was the H1 version, the County Com one, back in the day. But today, I'm going to open this can of Bumblebee Tuna, um, not with a knife, not with a can opener, and not with a spoon. There's a way you can open a can with no tools whatsoever, and that's why I'm making this video for a video response for you, Tony, because you're awesome, but for everyone else, too, who's interested. Now, how the heck can you do this? How can you open this? Maybe you have to beat it against a rock like a caveman. Oh, well, you have to look at the can and understand. You have to understand the can. Okay, how is this constructed? Basically, most cans, um, this one's actually a little bit different. This looks like the side and the bottom is all one piece, and then the top is a separate piece, okay? But most cans is basically you have the, the tube, or the whole center, or sides, and then the top and the bottom, the lid and the bottom are um, bonded on. There were separate pieces of metal originally. Now this top was separate. And basically it was put onto the can after the contents were filled and then it was either crimped on like pressure crimped or maybe they you know quickly welded on I don't know how they actually attach this but it's attached strong enough where you can't just put your fingernail underneath this lip and just kind of pop the top like a Pringles top now it ain't gonna work like that all right you're gonna break your fingernail off and hurt yourself and I you know you can't get a, a knife or something pointy and try to pry that off that way I suppose you could but it's gonna be very difficult but uh, I didn't come up with this idea. This is something I saw Cody Lundin do on a show on television years ago. It was about urban survival, okay? And basically, in an urban environment, we have a lot of concrete around us. Not me in particular, because I don't live in an urban environment. But think about it, all the parking lots, the buildings, brick, concrete, you have a lot of abrasive, flat areas, okay, where you can grind things like metal, soft metal, like a can. All right, so understanding that this lid was a separate um, piece at some point helps you because if you know where to grind this or how to grind this on concrete, you can break the seal and open the can very easily. All right, now there's two ways you can approach this. The first way and how Cody did it was through the side. Okay, this lip on the side, see how it protrudes out. If you grind that lip on concrete, just rub it on concrete, turn it, and keep doing this all around the circumference, the entire lid will pop right off like it was never there, all right? The other way to do this is to approach, uh, um, turn it completely upside down and grind the very top, all right? Grind the top down because at some point, you're gonna grind through the lid and you're going to meet the side of the can where it was originally connected, therefore freeing the entire lid of a connection to the can and it'll fall off. Now, I don't have any coarse concrete right now. I'm in my kitchen or actually I'm in my dining room. So I'm going to replicate this with a sharpening stone and ask to not make a mess, I'm gonna put it on a plate. Now the problem with this, where I'm just the demo I'm giving you right this second, 
is that this doesn't represent how easy it really is because this takes all of 20 or 30 seconds. However, even though I'm using the coarse side of this stone, it's a lot finer than concrete, okay, or brick, all right? It, it's much finer. You, you'll find that the side of a building or something like that, it's gonna be a lot more coarse and it's gonna grind this metal down a lot faster. So realistically, if I was out in a parking lot or something somewhere, uh, or you can do this on blacktop as well, but concrete works the best. The best. I'd be grinding this for 20 or 30 seconds, you know, really fast, really kind of get into it and then be done. That'd be it. I don't know how long this is going to take, but it is finer. So just understand that this may look like it takes a long time. I may just speed up this process, but it doesn't take as long as it's going to look. Now I'm going to do the same way uh, Cody Lundin did it, and I'm going to grind down the side lip here. Okay, so first I'll do a little section, and I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll go all the way around and try to attempt to open our can. All right, now this will sound horrible, so I may speed this part up, I don't know, but either way, if you do hear it, uh, turn your volume down, because it's, it's a stupid sound. <laughs> so, anyway. Now I'm just grinding one section. Now luckily this, this whole lid is painted white, so you can see where the point of contact is on this. And it's gonna be very hard to tell. But um, it's just a little bit thinner where I was grinding. But you can see where the paint came off very easily. All right. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And you want to do it evenly, but I'm going to stay in this one spot until it breaks through just a little bit so I can show you that. Now, again, it stinks because the... Um, the, the stone here, like I said, even the coarse spot or the coarse side is is so fine because this would have been done already. So it's going to take me a little while, but I'm going to get through it and I'll show you that. All right, you see how it's grinding down that lip? All you want to do is continue that process. Guys, I'm gonna stop just for a second here because I wanna show you where this is starting to separate. It's gonna be very hard to see, so I need a good macro on this. Hopefully this will work. But, do you see towards the top of the lip how there's a dark line right underneath the fingernail, right there? That's separated right there. This lid is not no longer connected to the side of the can. The idea is to go around like this, okay? Now, when you are grinding and rubbing, you don't want to be completely flush. You don't have to get through the whole circumference here, okay? You want to put it on an angle. In other words, and you can see some of the juice that's going onto the thing here from this leaking. But you don't want it to be completely flat because this will take you forever, okay, to go through the thicker material. But if you angle it just a little and you knock off that edge, okay, so no, Yes. No. Definitely not. Yes. Just like that. So, I only have a little section here, but I'm going to show you how fast this goes, even with a finer edge. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. A little more, a little more, let's check it, alright, so I still need a little more grinding around, but it's loose here, 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 yeah, so I just want to keep going around until it's good to go. Keep in mind as I'm doing this, if this really is a survival situation, keep your fingers on the top so that when the seal completely breaks, you don't have all your food fly all over the place from you trying to grind it. That's not gonna be good. You wanna contain or capture every single drop of liquid in here as well as the food. So just something to keep in mind, but this is just for a demo. So let's keep going here. Going. 
P.S. We are sharpening metal. It will be sharp. Be very careful. All right, don't cut yourself. As Gavco would say, Gavco's awesome. <laughs> the end of his video. Don't forget, don't cut yourself. I love that. I wish I thought of that crap. Too cool. All right, we're getting there. Again, this whole thing on coarse concrete does not take long at all. We're making some headway though. I don't know why, but in the last couple months I've been humming Indiana Jones. I haven't seen the movies in who knows how long. But it's such a catchy tune. Man, I wish I had a sidewalk right now. I got no sidewalks where I live, you know that? And guess what? No delivery of any food whatsoever. Nothing, absolutely nothing can be delivered to my house where I live. That is not fun. Not like you get a lazy day. No, oh, let's order a pizza. Nope. Either you make it, or I gotta get in the car, which I don't have now, and go get one. Oh, come on, people have things to do, can. Open up already. By the way, if you have a can, which you probably do, and you have some concrete, or concrete around you, which is likely, try this. Try it on actual concrete, not on a sharpening stone. It'll be much, much more uh, pleasurable to get open quickly. All right, stop for a second, see where we're at here. Let's see, the seal is broken. Where is it? It's definitely broken right here. And you can almost lift it, but I have to see where it's not. Because if you skip a little section right here, then you miss a little spot over here, it's the same as if you're actually opening the lid normally, and the whole thing won't just lift off. It'll be a pain in the butt. So you gotta get every little spot. But again, I don't wanna beat a dead horse. You need a coarser thing to grind on. But you see how I can pull that open a little bit? Our lid is separating from the sides. This is killing my back, by the way. I'm reaching around the tripod. That's okay. I smell tuna. So that's a good thing. I don't necessarily want tuna juice on my sharpening stone. I'll wash it. No big deal. It'll be a wet stone now. That was a joke, by the way. Just in case you didn't laugh, you can go ahead and laugh now. All right, don't laugh, it wasn't very funny. Okay, it's really starting to lift off really good. I wanna get a little bit more section over here because this whole section is pretty much done. So now I'm holding the lid, so I don't want splashing everywhere if it does bust open. Starting to stink like tuna now. All right. Another thing to note, you see all this, the filings and crap like this? This is not gonna be on your can. All right, in fact, let me wipe this off because I wanna eat this tuna. So hang on just a moment. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, this is just because I'm using the stone. If you do this on your sidewalk, whatever, not only will it only take a minute or so, not even, 
Um, but you won't have any kind of crap like this in your can. So. And don't say only real men eat tuna with metal filings in it. Because no man does that except for Chuck Norris. That's right. I said it. I seen him. I done seen him do it. Alright, let's just crack into this thing now. The plane around. You see how the lid is separating? I'm just using my fingernail here. I want to stay true to the video and tell you, you know, actually open this like I said I would without any tools. But of course you don't want to cut yourself either. Ugh, now I'm dripping it everywhere. Making a mess. I think you guys kind of get the point. If I continue this all the way around the can, the entire lid would lift off in one perfect piece. Now we're not cutting it to the side of the can. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna eat this now. It's got all kinds of crap in it. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, it's, we're not breaking into the top of the lid like that. We're actually taking the entire lip off. So this lid will come all the way across. Now I'm just making a mess. It'll come all the way across and actually have a lip up, just like that. Yes, it's dripping everywhere. So, let's see if I can manhandle this. These edges are sharp though, so you can easily slice yourself really, really badly. So just be careful. Just wanna, wanted to get a little bit more to show you that, but nope, I have to still work on these sides. But you guys kinda get the point here. That's how you would open a can with no tools whatsoever. Just continue that process, work in that lip until it splits all the way around and bing bam boom, you are done and you have the contents of your can, minus the filings if you do it the right way. So that's it, this turned into a, a nasty stinky mess. It reeks, and I like tuna, but right now I got that like bad tuna thing going on in my nose and I'm not very happy, it's like tuna and metal. So uh, yeah, let me throw this out and wash my stone and get on with my day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, maybe you learned something. Please, 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 if you have a camera and a little bit of time and any interest in this whatsoever, I'd love to see you doing this, how it's supposed to be done, like I said, on some flat concrete and uh, videotape it. That's what we do here on YouTube, we make videos. So please join the club, have some fun, make your own video on this, and I'd love to see video responses. Absolutely would love it. And also don't forget to post the responses to Tony's video as well. So that's all guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Don't forget, don't cut yourself.